hello guys welcome back to my channel in this video i will show you how to model this part with freecad 1.0 okay let's get started i'm going to pick parametric part template make sure you are in part design workbench in order to create a 3d model we need to have a sketch first click on create sketch command pick xy plane click on rectangle tool click on the origin type 6 for the width and press enter type 300 for the height and press enter right click and pick it all to see the full view of the sketch zoom into this area click on this vertical constraint and press delete key zoom out now we can add different length for the top side of this rectangle let's make this 20 mil right click to exit the command control select these three lines and click on this tool to convert them to construction lines. Click on create arc by center tool and draw like this. Make sure the cursor looks like this. Create another arc at the middle of this line. Make sure the cursor looks like this. And another arc here. Now I will add dimensions to the sketch. Type 28 for the radius and press enter. And 32 for this arc. And 40 for this arc. There's one degrees of freedom that we have to fix. When I create this arc, I did not snap to the point. That's why this arc lost the constraint. But you may not have this issue. I'm going to constrain the points using the coincident constraint. Click on this coincident constraint tool and select both points. Now it is over constrained. I have to delete constraint number 19 to fix this. Select constraint 19 and press delete key on your keyboard to delete it. Now it is fully constrained. Zoom in here. Click on line command and draw a line between these two arcs. And draw one more line here. Right click to exit the command. Close the window. Make sure the sketch is selected and click on revolve command. Right click and select fit all to see the full model. Click OK. Click on create sketch and select XY plane. Let me switch to model tab and turn on the visibility of the previous sketch 
so I can use it as a reference if I need it. Zoom in here and click on rectangle tool and start sketching somewhere around here like this. Click on dimension tool and add these dimensions. Switch to Tax tab and close the window. Now we are going to use this sketch to cut the model. Click on Pocket Tool, change to Through All Type and Symmetric to Plane option. Click OK. Select Pocket. and click on mirrored command. The cutout is mirrored on the other side. If you don't see this mirrored feature, select reference from this drop down and click on this plane. Click OK. Now I am going to add the holes. Click on this face and click on create sketch command. We need some external reference lines to locate the holes. Click on this tool to copy reference lines from existing solids and click on this edge. Create a circle at the center, type 25 for the diameter and press enter. Right click to exit the command. Let me drag this dimension away so it will be more clear for sketching. Click on centered rectangle from this drop down. Draw it somewhere around here like this. Make it 6 mil for both sides. Add another dimension here. Type 12.5 so it will be along the edge of the circle. Control select these three lines and convert them to construction lines. Click on trim edge tool and trim this portion of the circle. Click on the line tool and draw these lines. Close the window. Click on the pocket tool and select through all type from this drop down list. Click OK. Click on this face. Click on create sketch and click on circle command. To draw a circle on the center of this ball, we need some reference edge from this ball. Let me escape from this command and pick this command to create external reference line. Click on this edge. Now I will go back to circle command and create a circle at the center. 
I will put 10 mil, but this number doesn't matter because we will add a threaded hole. Close the window. Click on hole command. Pick ISO metric regular profile from this drop down. Let's make this M20 hole. Change this settings as this. This update might take a while, depends on your system. Click OK. That's it. Thanks for watching my video. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section below. Please don't forget to subscribe so you will not miss my future videos. See you soon with another video.